All right, guys, in this video, I'm bringing you, I guess, my restyled bookcase. <laughs> and no, I haven't all of a sudden turned into a home decorating uh, video channel. I have simply been in a place where I needed to sort of have a little bit less of a feeling that I had a lot of clutter and extra stuff in my life that I didn't need. And so part of what I recognized was that if I could physically lighten things up, then I would feel less stressed, low, less overwhelmed about things. Not that I'm feeling really overwhelmed. It's just a lot going on. And I don't do visual pollution very well and not that my bookcase was really really bad it was just that it had a lot of stuff on it. it had a lot of books on it i mean like literally books 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 and although it was styled very nicely as we're going into i guess the third quarter of the year i'm doing spring cleaning in the fall because i just needed uh just a lighter space so i'm gonna go over um some of the and as you can see, you see a lot of backs, a lot of like space behind me. Trust me, it looks a whole lot better. It feels fresher, cleaner, like, oh, I'm just like, like a weight has been lifted off of me. And now you can hear it like the angels. Uh, yes, that's how I feel. So this is what my office used to look like and you can see the bookshelves behind me. So they were neat, but they were full. Yes, I have an office downtown, but I also have a home office that I operate out of and both of them are very busy. So let's take a look at the bookcase and let me show you what I did. If you feel like you have a lot of clutter and stuff in your life, I'm going to give you a few tips that worked for me that I think you could certainly consider doing on your own but i'm gonna go through and talk about some of this there is like a psychology today article that i recently read that really sort of broke it down and actually it quoted a study about african-american women and talked about how we use language when we're discussing cleaning up and how we talk about things feeling cluttered and just feeling like we have so much to do. Well, so there's definitely some science behind cleaning up and feeling healthier. So my husband was like, oh, you made it prettier. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we had to have some discussion <laughs> about where the books are going. Right now the books are in storage. We're going to, um, I'm gonna figure out what's gonna go on with them at some other point in time. I'm gonna like do some other stuff. So some of the books will definitely be coming back. I'm just not, I just do not feel a, a need to have a whole bunch of just, st like if you have to have a storage unit, you really have to ask yourself if that's stuff you need. I don't feel attached to those books. He feels really attached to those. Um, he reads some of those. So we're going to have to find some space for some of those. But in the meantime, this is my office, y'all. And so it's going to have to work for me. Let me show you what I did. All right, so first of all, let me just um, talk to you a little bit about this. 
Um, these bookcases were not here when we first moved into the house. We did have them built in and then the closet right next to it. So I actually repainted the doors. We had some knobs up there and the knobs just kept coming apart. I've gotten them from Anthropology. I loved them, but they just, you know, after a few years, they just were coming up, coming apart. Anyway, I had, because um, the books that we had up here were really old, I actually had to repaint um, each one of these. So I was not really happy about that. Another reason why I do not want those books to come back in here. I don't know where they're going. They ain't coming back in here. But let's go through and look at these individually. Okay, so just to give you an overall sort of feel of what's going on. One of the things I wanted to do was to make sure that I had space for work. And so one of the first things I did was to pick up these um, file holders from Staples. I can't remember how much they were. I think they were maybe around $19 each. I don't know. But I got the first one and then I filled it up really fast and so I went back and got the second one. What I didn't realize though was that I picked up a legal size when I got the second one. So you'll see there are two different sizes. The first one is letter size, the second one is legal size. But I actually like that because I like that there's that sort of different perspective there and it makes it a little bit more interesting. Um, you'll also notice that the box is actually, this is more of a dark gray, more like a charcoal instead of a black. And then it's got the little um, gold, um, I guess the detailing on it and yes it's very shiny not necessarily something that I'd go with but the mix of metals actually makes it look good so it's got the handle here it's got pleated siding I don't know if you can really see that pleated siding so it actually opens up really well and I don't know if that was something okay yeah all right so I was um, going with sort of a a black and white and tan theme but I also wanted to use natural materials the other thing I needed was space to just put papers because they were gathering all over my desk and so I also picked these up from Staples these were not cheap <laughs> these were not cheap these are cloth covered this is from the Martha Stewart collection and these are very nice I really like these I'm gonna actually put some folders in there but as you can see right now um, this is like current clients this is past clients and then this is miscellaneous and so I will actually like write on the labels I'll probably print something out on my computer so that it looks nice and pretty all right, so those were the main things I wanted to make sure that I had, and that was storage um, for work, because this was work. And then one of the things I did was to throw my paper clips. I love these black um, coated paper clips. I've got some gold ones too, but I love the black um, coated paper clips because they tend to hold up just a little bit better, and I just like the look of them. So I mentioned the color scheme and I think you can get a look at it here. It's mostly brown, black, white, gray. Um, there's a mix all across that you'll see here. And so I'm just gonna start here at the bottom. All right, so down here, um, these, um, we actually already had these um, bookends here and I just put together some of the black books that we already had just to give it a little bit more of a cohesive look. This planter is one that we already had. I had gotten it from a shop down the street called Everything But Granny's Panties. It was like a dollar or something like that. I got that a while back. So that's here and up against um, this it actually looks more like a very light gray but it works just fine then on the shelf above so just so that you're noting so I do have the gray here I have some black and I have some white so that's all on that bottom shelf then we come up to the shelf above that I've got the gray file cabinets and again this is a cloth so it's totally different material and then we're going for something a little hardcore and I can't remember who brought us this rock back from Martha's Vineyard but there you go and they brought it back for us 2005 so this was something we already had these are a couple of brass um 
picture frames that I picked up at Marshalls and Marshalls and TJ Maxx, these are really great places to pick up things and not spend a whole lot of money. And so $3.99 and then $4.99. And so as you'll see with both of these, again, you see a lot of white space in here. See all that white space? It makes it so much more restful and so much calmer. And then you have this natural, again, when you can bring natural elements in, that's really great. So you've got like these real sort of natural elements in here, even with the cloth. All right, but let me talk about these frames for a second. So I went with more of a brass. And again, by having a metal in, and then of course the glass, you it gives you an opportunity to have light reflected back in. So one of the things is directly across from this bookcase are my two windows. Ta-da! And so the light is being reflected right back to me as I'm sitting at the desk. All right, next shelf. And then here I brought back in another brass element. This is just a candle holder. I can't remember where I picked this up from. And yeah, not there. Oh, well, no, I don't know where. Oh, I got that from Tuesday morning. Actually, this whole scene here came from Tuesday morning. And you can't really see this a whole lot. So this is a candle holder um, in with the brass look. And then you see, again, this sort of natural element. Again, you have sort of the wood tan color. And then you have the glass. Uh, I'm sorry, the glass. The brass here on the side, again, to sort of tie that in. And then you have the gray picture frame with a little bit of detailing and um, the brass sort of inserted here. So again, you've got the natural element back here with a little bit of the tan and you've got the brass and you've got the gray. And again, you've got a lot of white space here, just not cluttered at all. If you had seen this before, guys, I think this was the shelf that had three rows of books all the way up, like the books started here and went all the way up and they were neatly done three rows all the way up and even next to it on the next shelf we just have three items two more um picture frames and these came from tj maxx this one's 6.99 i don't know how much this other one is probably not more than that this is actually my daughter's clarinet <laughs> with she no longer plays but it was on another shelf, so I brought it over here. So again, we've got a little bit of the black and a little bit of the gold brassy look. Up here at the very top where I can hardly see, we've got a stone, and this is, again, that natural sort of element here, and it's in a gray color. And then we have um, a black print here, and it's got some sort of um, saying on it. I can't read it from where I am. And this was actually a gift to me. This was a quote from Hillary Clinton. And I had spoken at a group a number of years back at some sort of meeting and they gave me that. Unfortunately, I broke the glass part, so it's up there anyway. Um, this is a basket we have in the bathroom. I'm actually not going to keep this particular basket up here. I'm going to get something different, but right now it actually stores my backup hard drives. So again, another work piece. Okay, going across the top here. Um, <laughs> this is a mirror I already had. I think I picked it up at an estate sale years, years, years ago. Picked uh, the holder we already had. Of course, the books we already had. Um, these bottom ones don't have the um, book covers on them, but this one does. I kept it up there. I love this book. This is actually a great book, but the book itself is green, <laughs> so the cover is still up there. This particular um, vase is one that I picked up at Rite Aid. I saw it, it was so cute. And so it's white, and then this part here is sort of brown. So you have the white, the brown, the black, and then again, the reflection from the light, and then the brass again. Down underneath that one, this one's a little different. I found this at, at home. I loved it. I wanted to be able to have some sort of architectural pieces in here. And I've been looking for something else too, but I haven't been able to find anything. But I totally loved it, this black hand, which um, is being used as a book in here. And then I've bookended actually these black books with two white books. And then I um, stack the white books here. This was actually, this is actually a set of coasters um, that I got from North Carolina Central where I taught a couple of classes, but I actually got this 
from when I served on the Board of Visitors for the School of Business. And this little metal case, which has like, um, it has um, the little flash drives in it. So I keep my flash drives in there. So again, another work piece here. And so I really love this setup here. I love the hand and the books. I love, um, yeah, a little little ribbon things there. And then I love the way these are stacked up here. And so again, you've got the black, you've got white and black, you've got um, the wood element here plus the metal. And again, you've got this sort of reflective piece here. And this book right here, y'all, this book has a lot in it about decorating. I love this book too. So these, I also picked these up at, at home. These were just two candle holders. I can't remember how much they were. They weren't really that much. Um, I was looking for a couple of gray candles, but I did not want solid, so I don't know if you can tell, but these have actually more of a marble kind of look or feel to them, and the smell is okay too at some point in time. I'll light those and maybe use those babies, but love these that are white. Love them that they're distressed just a little bit. It gives you a little bit more of that natural feeling. Um, this already had, and uh, you can see, um, I used to have like pens and pencils or a bunch of junk in it, but... I decided to put that in something else and put this up here. This was given to me a number of years ago. Oh my gosh, probably, I don't know, 30 years ago. But I have that and I will probably clean it up just a little so you can actually tell that is brass. Um, I stuck some brown sort of books up in here too because I wanted to bring a brown element back in because you know I had it up here but I wanted something here. So I didn't want to bring any necessarily any more wood and I couldn't find anything anyway. Look, I was shopping the house. This wood bowl I did have. I had, I've had it for a while. Don't know where I got it from, but I totally um, love this wood bowl. And again, like I said, I keep my um, black paper clips in there and then there's some gold paper clips too. These are some of the white books um, that I have. I particularly love this book. And this is so funny, you guys. So when Andrew Yang <laughs> ran for president and he was talking about stuff, I was like, oh my gosh, he says so many things that I like. And I didn't realize that it was because, well, guess what? I have your book at home and I had already read his book before he ran for president. I actually have his book and I have a couple of Marianne Williamson's book. I have um, A Return to Love, but actually A Course in Miracles was the first book of hers that I read and it was actually a much better book, I think. But um, yeah, so I had two of the um, Democratic Party's presidential candidates books already so that was a little funny but I love this setup here again you've got black and white metal you've got white over here and then you've got the wood element here so I love the the wood element down here I think I picked this up from oh I don't know it's been a while but again you've got the wood here and you've got some of the brass here the metal and then you've also finally got a little of this natural rope so something entirely different and then of course i just stacked books right inside and so they aren't even in there in any sort of particular height they are just in there but yeah love this and then this is um an old picture frame and actually none of the pictures are up there it had like plastic sleeves but they got messy i hated it I got this from Pottery Barn years ago, but the thing is, it wasn't this color. It was sort of a mahogany color, and I really didn't like the color. So years ago, I paint, spray painted it black, and it's been black ever since. So I may put some pictures up here, or I may leave it just like this. And I want to say this might be chalkboard paint, and so if so, I may just write something up there. But again, the black, the wood, the natural element here, and you've got brass here. And again, the white from the books across here. So again, you can see all of the white space here. I mean, I definitely could put like a third item like right here, which would be fine, but I don't feel the need to. And so again, you can see like even on this one, just the empty space there. And then those are centered. So you can see space behind them and to both sides. And then that one on the top, you can see there's a whole lot of space. Both of those are centered and there's space on both sides. Same thing over here. Again, even though I'm not sure I'm gonna like that setup, I may probably change that one. And yeah, so one of the things I'm gonna do is, I'm, I was thinking about putting pictures in there and doing black and white, 
I may do that or I may not. One of the things I've been thinking about doing is maybe putting my own quotes in there or just like words of inspiration. So I may put faith or perseverance or gratitude. I mean, I've got like five um, picture frames where I can do that with. And I think that that would just be a really good way of sort of being in the room and being in the space and sort of liking it. So you can see how light and bright that feels and what that looks like. And the floor is this ugly orange wood um, that we just have not gotten around to staining darker. I really would like it darker than now. I'm feeling so light, almost feel like I would like it lighter. Yeah. And then, so you can see what color the walls are. And I love the color, but I'm thinking about switching to a lighter gray. And I'm likely going to switch this out to a wood, um, it's a wood framed um, piece of photography that's in my kitchen that one of my neighbors actually did. He built the um, frame himself and it's very nice. So I will likely maybe switch that out. And then over here on this side of the wood, so you can see the furniture is really, really dark. I have um, this piece underneath that I store a lot of files in. So let me tell you, I've been running the shredder this weekend. <laughs> I've been shredding some stuff. I have four bags of shredded stuff. So I'm actually gonna go through that too. I've actually been cleaning this out. It stores a lot of files and things in it. And so it, it looks way neater, you guys. So yeah, like everything from um, pens and pencils to extra paper, um, more like clamps, um, extra folders. Um, when I have to mail stuff, I've got stuff ready to go right there. Envelopes up here. So yeah, lots of goodies in that one. And then in this one, more files and they're all labeled. Um, and then I've got just a little container over there with some other books and things in there. So these have all been cleaned out. And then I have to decide whether or not I'm gonna keep these lamps. I'm not sure I like them, um, but the wall, and I just took a picture down because it was just killing me. So the picture that was up there is down, but I'm thinking I'm going to transition to a lighter color. And even though I've loved this color and it's great for a backdrop when I'm doing my videos, I'm thinking I'm going to move in a lighter um, direction. So yeah, so then I actually have three windows in this room. And so you can see how dark that corner looks there. But yeah, so I'm thinking about definitely um, doing something different with the color.
had a really good time redoing that. I probably spent way more time on it than I wanted to, but I was getting up early and working late. You know how when you're excited to do something, you <laughs> wake up early thinking about, okay, now I want to do this, or you're up late working on it because you get that rush of adrenaline because you know that in the end you're going to really be grateful for how things turned out and you're really going to love it and so you keep working on it even though it's like shouldn't I be getting sleepy like I wasn't even getting sleepy I was so into what I was doing so this is really a great project but I also wanted to show you part of my trip when I was out shopping and looking for some of these things over the weekend this has been like my weekend I, I spent all day yesterday Saturday working on this well not all day but yeah, and so I ran to several different shops and just wanted to show you some of the things that I saw at some of those shops and some of the ideas that I got. So come with me for just a sec. Maybe I just need some time, some space to figure out how to give my all to you. If you give me one more try, I might just realize that it will always be us two. Maybe I just need some time.
think we lost all but who will take the fall who will win it all you know the cost still you go through walls keep on acting small even if you got something left to lose even if there is something left for you to prove i got bad taste of hanging around you Keep it cool, bending all the rules, bending all the rules. It gets colder, but I hate being cool. I can't be cool to you. 